guys are in for it, we're gonna like we're gonna quiz you on some things. And uh, well, I should probably just bring up today's agenda just for everybody's viewing pleasure. We are going to work. We're going to review some of the um, editing materials later in the day. And then just sort of, re I mean, it's kind of freaky, but also kind of interesting that we're halfway through the semester. So. Almost halfway. Yeah. And then, obviously, just keep on working. So. Oops. So, but today, Kathleen has put together a, a very fun and um, interesting quiz for all of us, which I'm sure Pete won't even get right, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's that challenging. <laughs> all right. So here's the first question. Should we, what do you want to do, like write them down and have them submit it, or <laughs> should we take a vote? We should vote. Well, but Kathleen yeah, does have to read every question. We'll and all the, all and, and all okay. the answers. Right. So, one, what does OER stand for? A, overly eager research. B, open <laughs> educational resources. C, open empowerment regulation. D, over the counter <laughs> emergency resource. Or E, open access readability. Dave? <laughs> Excellent. Does anyone disagree? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. See, look at that. Oh, did did anyone just see that green little animation? When, oh, That's the value beautiful. added. Right? All right, what does the D in Describe stand for? So, distributed, distracted, digital, demanding, delicious, A and C, or C and C. <laughs> Madison? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm not sure. So who says C and who says F? Who says D? All right. And who says F? I say E. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. All right. And the answer is. Ooh, it's, oh, it's yeah. And see, look at that. Go on. Yeah. Good. All right. What is the origin of U.S. copyright? Hint. Think legal documents. Could it be the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976? Is it the Progress Clause of the U.S. Constitution, the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution, the Magna Carta, or President Obama's inaugural speech? <laughs> B? I think B. Did everyone agree? Disagree? B. B? All right. How many of you actually know this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have, have heard the phrase progress clause before. No. What that would be like B or C. Yeah. Oh, B or C? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just so confident. Yeah. <laughs> you just went along. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the purpose of copyright? So, this one's not multiple choice. Right? Cortex. No, it's to um, pro pro help progress in science and no, other I'm useful talking. art things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't have it memorized, <laughs> but it cool, what you say? by protect, encourage, and encourage Protect and encourage work, is what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other? I don't to promote, the promote the progress of science. Mm -hmm. and it was good. Yeah, yeah. I liked your I liked your rendition though. Yeah. It was a, <laughs> sort of like it was confused. You had a lot of words in there. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think <clears throat> the idea of sort of protecting and encouraging is also in there. It's that it's that kind of fine balance. But I think that the focus is on promoting progress. So kind of the encouragement of of the dissemination of knowledge. Good job. All right. What are the the? Oh, what what are the hour? <laughs> okay, you you read it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the three areas of concern? 
<laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> in the recommended action decision tree, and just in case um, that part of the recommended action decision tree doesn't sound familiar to you, that's the, the page you get if you click help me recommend an action in ORCA. So do you remember the three things that we're looking for when you recommend an action? Permission. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do it kind of like an X. No. No, it's close though. That's a whammy. That's, that's, that's you have to get three whammies. Oh, three whammies, yeah. Um, what kind of um, copyrighted heads? Nope. Copyright is one, I'll give you that. Yeah, it's, it's, you that's guess partial. The other two. Okay, partial, partial. It's a good copyright. If we already know where it comes from, so that I can't remember the word. Providence. Providence. Yeah, no, no. no. That's, that's three, two areas. Dude, Hangman is getting is getting closer. <laughs> <coughs> I'm trying to think over the One sort of the questions. Oh, yeah, oh, the, oh, so we we always talked about oh, these as like the, the the three main policy areas that we're concerned about. So copyright and intellectual property is one. Mm -hmm. What are the other two? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Endorsement. Right, so if, if okay, faculty yeah, has some sort of product that they're endorsing or making like harsh <coughs> criticisms about, we want to make sure that <coughs> it's the faculty's own words and they're not sort of trying to represent the university. So we don't want we don't want people to misconstrue the university as as endorsing a product. Does that bring to mind what the third one might be? Any information policy people in here? It starts with a P. Ends in a Y. <laughs> it's not policy. As in I. It's not policy. Pri As in R. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Privacy. Privacy. So if, if, for instance, we can't simply publish stuff that has students in them and student information, because that sort of violates the University of Michigan's privacy policy for students. But that also goes for patients, especially at the University Hospital. And, uh, and can perhaps be for guests and things like that. But yeah, those are the three areas that we're most concerned about. And we clear each one of those. Copyright, of course, is that we, we spend a lot of time on that. Kind of breeze through endorsement and privacy because a lot of times there aren't concerns. Boom. Endorsement, copyright, privacy. Of those the four. CC is Creative Commons, the NC is non-commercial. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there. <sighs> Anybody else? Yeah? BY? SA? Yeah. SA has something to do with attribution? Yeah. No. Oh, wait, no. wait, did you say essay? <laughs> oh, no, that's a, so the BY is the attribution one. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the acronym stands for. So the BY isn't an acronym, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, the, 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 it's, B, it's BY. Yeah, that's it's just BY. So essay is an acronym for share of light. Oh. So that's the viral license um, saying that any derivative works have to be licensed under the same license. Okay. So faculty members will choose any one of those three combinations. Well, there's four combinations, right? Attribution only, attribution and non-commercial, attribution yeah. share-alike, or attribution non-commercial share-alike. So we present, so everybody that's familiar to this, you actually signed this when we first uh, yeah. <laughs> when we first got into the program, so I mean, uh, it should be familiar. But in case of, you know five weeks has gone by and we've forgotten it, so. But and again, to just clarify what that means, share like is probably the only one that probably is, is at all. Oh wow, it's on a timer. <laughs> share like is the idea that when, if you market a share like, you have people who use your work have to use it in the same way that you've made it available. So in the same, way, basically returning it to the commons. Um, attribution would merely say, you use it so long as you attribute it to me. And the non-commercial clause is a little bit, it's kind of, 
uh, under debate right now as to what that really means in terms of, you know, if I'm a nonprofit institution but I use your image in raising money for a campaign during my, you know, my dinner, does that constitute a commercial use or not? Um, you know, if I'm a corporation and I use it on a pamphlet that circulates just within the office, is that a commercial use or not? So there's, there's an interesting discussion that's happening right now with Creative Commons about how to really define that. So. But the idea is that we, we like to encourage as much as possible faculty to use, and, and people to use in general, just the attribution or attribution share alike. So it isn't to say, like, don't, don't use it, but it, the maximum is just the attribution and the share alike component. All right. What action would you recommend for this object and why? original expression so much as creative expression. So originality is, is a component of this sort of stuff. Um, but that is lo so long as something is in, in its original way a new, a new creative expression of, of, of some idea or some thought or some, something. But in this, it, this, is a pure, this is a factual representation of data or a representation of factual information. Uh, in which case, we are going to mark it as copyright analysis and, and most likely say, yep, we're going to retain it under the, under the guise that there's not enough expression here to merit copyright protection. Cool. So, this is what you might write in the corner of your box, right? This is a basic graph. Data is not copyrightable. This is a basic representation. Of data. So no original expression. Or no creative yeah. expression, as Karen is. Yeah. If you and I both had this data, we could generate the same graph easily. What's the process for getting student contributed content? For example, papers and presentations. This isn't something we've reviewed maybe a uh, lot. There's a whole group anyway. Yeah. We need to get them to sign a Creative Commons license. Mm -hmm. So that that's part of it? <coughs> I don't know what else. So the big concept here is the notion of opt-in. We need to make sure when we're talking to people about having them contribute content that there's this notion of, hey, do you want to participate in this? Not like a, hey, the faculty member said you have to do this, and thus, uh, if you don't want it, you have to sign something. So uh, the basic steps would be basically, you know, have the faculty member, and we're doing with this with Steve Jackson's class as well as Paul Edwards, talk to the faculty member about the interest in, in getting student contributed material into the class, or into the OER project, and then you know, announce in class that people, you know, that we want to do this. And then keep the student, also make sure you, you, you say that students can remain anonymous if they want to. There's, not, there's no necessity of having student names associated with work. Um, and then obviously the students would contact you or contact us about, about wanting to participate. And then we'd collect those materials at the end of the semester or whenever they're available. Yeah. 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 And the thing about this, though, that's hard is that a lot of students will include images, will include graphs, will include material that, that would, will, will require clearing in some sense. So the thing that's good about contacting the class early is that you might be able to tell them, hey, draw from these databases, draw from these, these sources when you're actually creating the presentations, and include Creative Commons licensed images or other images that might sit in the public domain. So, it's, so if anybody feels like there are currently this semester projects or papers or things that would be great to include on the site. Definitely let us know. We can help you work to get that going. So, and right now, I think again, the only place that that's really happening is digital government and. Uh, well, Joseph's class. Yeah. That's true. We don't. Yeah. All right. Your turn. Okay, so this is another non-multiple choice. One. I think um, people like the multiple choice better. Yeah, I know, but there's seven <laughs> in this one, so that would have been like fourteen multiple choice. <laughs> So, um, I know in these past few weeks we've talked about the Describe task list and which task or step you should be at each week. Do you guys remember any of the seven that we've worked on so far? Training? Yes. Training, yes. <laughs> yes. So it's capturing content on books. And it's called so Analyze Content. Yeah. Clearing content. Also known as? 
recommending accents. <laughs> Wait, we should write down what they're thinking. Yeah. About. <laughs> like, yeah. Actually, because, yeah. So we can, re we can retitle so, so we can rename them. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> confuse you guys when you ask this question again. Okay, so there was also the introduction, which came before training. Mm -hmm. And then before you analyze content, there was the um, organizing materials, so actually getting the PowerPoints and the documents from your faculty member. And then what we're going to talk more about later today is editing materials. I'll just do a plan. And Susan will, want, will publish the materials once you guys have them edited. And I don't know if you guys got a chance to look at the, the landing pages that she's published so far for your courses, but she has nice pages up that say, you know, your course number and then coming soon. And is 580 out? Yep, 580 is a great example. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Well, it's still not published, published. So oh, it is? But if well, it's just. These guys have Educon logins. They can. Do we need to go to dev? Yeah. No, 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 you don't need to go to dev. Oh, oh. To view. Yeah, sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, well, you should. Okay. Michigan dev. It's Mish dev. I actually forgot, to be honest. Um, yeah, I changed my... I got two yeah. and I have another one. I don't even know if I know my... So, most people don't have to log in when they look at our site, but um, our, our office has logins, so that allows us to see see things that are in progress. <coughs> because David has been clearing quickly, we actually have materials available. So we will. So as you can see. So week one through four are up. And so then what we'll be doing is sending a link to, to the faculty member saying, hey, check it out. Uh, you know, any changes you want to make. Especially, you know, if he has a different image that he wants to put on the front, for instance. But, um, but that's that. All right. Mm, there's one question left. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stop this way. Okay, there we go. All right. So, at which step should we be now? Uh, of the seven we just showed you. Now this being week six. That was the last one. Editing? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. So, yeah, um, David's is a great example where um, hopefully you, you guys will be editing materials through week five and start the cycle over with, with week six. So, you, you know, analyzing content, recommending actions. So, should we just break out? Sure. Yeah. Right. I, well, I have to go. Oh, you have to go. All right. You ready? Any other big questions, thoughts people have? Okay. Let's do it then. We can talk about editing materials too um, later. Because.